Ghent is the third largest city in Belgium after Brussels and Antwerp. It is also the capital of the province of East Flanders and the arrondissement and electoral district. Ghent originated from Celtic settlements in the area of the confluence of the Skelt and the Lee. In the Middle Ages, Ghent grew into one of the largest and most important cities in Europe due to the flourishing cloth trade. The flax and linen trade and the right to stack grain acquired by the city also contributed considerably to the city's prosperity. After a brief Calvinist period, the city declined visibly until it flourished again towards the end of the 18th century, when Ghent became one of the first industrialized cities on the European mainland. Ghent is also called the Proud City. Due to its location in an extensive area of flower and plant breeding farms, Ghent is also called the City of Flowers. A large part of the medieval and early modern building fabric has been preserved. Ghent counts more than 9,800 registered buildings of cultural and historical value, most of which are also listed monuments. The city competes as a tourist destination with Bruges, which is better known for tourism. The city skyline has been dominated since the Middle Ages by the three towers, which stand in a row. These are the 95-meter-high Ghent Belfry, the Tower of St. Bavo's Cathedral, and the Tower of the St. Niklauskirk, built in the Skelt Gothic style on the Kornmarkt. In the 1930s, on the other side of the city on the Blandenburg, the Book Tower was added, a design by Henry van de Velde, which is why some refer to it as the Four Torrens. Attentive visitors to the historic Old Town will discover that the coats of arms of historic Belgian provinces are affixed to curved street lamps, for example, the coat of arms of the Duchy of Limburg can be found near the Grassbrug on the riverbank. Ghent has, in addition to the sacred buildings, a large number of historical secular buildings, for example, on the canal of the Old Port, the Grass Lay and the Karen Lay, mainly gabled or guild houses and also other buildings, such as the Old Post Office. One of the largest and most important secular buildings in the centre, however, is the Count Stone, a Romanesque-style medieval castle dating from the 12th century and the only one preserved in Flanders, also the Count's residence of the Counts of Flanders, with its defences still relatively intact. Executions were carried out on the medieval beheading bridge until the 16th century. Another building of historical value is the Prinzenhof. Representative of a number of mansions worth seeing is the Baroque Wied Pelican. At the aforementioned Belfry of Ghent, which dates back to the 14th century and, along with other towers in Belgium and northern France, has the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the Cloth Hall of Ghent, begun in 1425 but not completed until 1890 according to the original plans, which constituted the center of the Ghent cloth trade in the Middle Ages. Near the belfry is also the city's late Gothic town hall. The castle Girard de Duivelstein was built by Knight Gerard Villan, called Gerard the Devil, in the 13th century and went through numerous changes of use over the centuries. The Ghent Opera House and the nearby Palace of Justice are neoclassical masterpieces. From the city walls are still preserved rabbit, a sluice gate consisting of two round towers and a gabled central gate, and pepper bus. In order to defend their town, from the 16th century onwards, the inhabitants had an imposing cannon, about 5 meters long, the dull greet, which today is located near the Friday Market. The Friday Market is one of the oldest squares in the city, a weekly market is held here every Friday. Other notable, former, markets are the Great Meat House and the Oud Viz Mine. The labor movement has also left its mark with the festival pub Voorheid and its 1910 headquarters ons we an eclectic style with some Art Nouveau touches. Ghent is particularly worth seeing at night, as the entire city center is illuminated with a sophisticated illumination concept using passive lighting. The city has already won several awards for this. <music>
If you like my videos, then subscribe to my channel here to see my latest videos. If you want to see another video directly, then click here. Interesting videos can also be found here.